Hi guys! So I'm finally back. Um, I know I've been away for a long time, but I've been really busy with university and my horses and of course the mice. So I just needed to take a little break. Um, but I'm back uh, and I will make some videos. I won't make like a lot, so don't expect one every week because that's not going to happen, especially not during the summer. Um, but I will be making some videos and some hauls and maybe some cage tours and stuff like that. So yeah, um, and I thought I would start out slowly <laughs> um, today and I would just make a video about uh, what I feed the mice and what I use for treats. Um, maybe you can get inspired by it uh, and buy some treats that you haven't tried before. Uh, or maybe some food or maybe you just already use what <laughs> what I'm using um, and you just want to look at this for fun but that's okay too so I'm just gonna start with the food that I'm getting um, I use uh, Vasily Lager Red and Mouse Complete I'm just gonna get a little closer and I'm going to make it focus that's it uh, I'm just gonna raise the camera a bit here I can see it's that's better. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm using Vasily Lager uh, Complete Red Mouse and this is a 2 kilo bag and it came with 500 grams extra for free. This is a really really good mix. Um, this huge bag cost me 150 Danish kroners which is yeah not a lot compared to what's in it and compared to uh, how little I use for the mice. I've had this for about half a year now I think um, and yeah I, I still have like a quarter of a bag left or something so and you can also get these for um, what's it called um, hamsters and gerbils so this is a really good one it's uh, with chicken in it and I'm just gonna turn it over here so you can see the back so up here I don't know if you can see that but there's like three different types of um, pellets in here. Whoop, I'm just gonna like this here. There's three different types. There's the green one that contains natural um, antioxidants, um, and then the more reddish one over here is with cranberry peas and chicken, and the last one is rich in cereals and with linseed source of omega three. Um, and it says over here, you can't see it, so I'm just gonna say it out loud. It has animal protein in it, in the, it has dental care, fluorostimol, so it's good for their di digestive system, uh, up to immunity, it says, so it's good for the immunity, um, cereal plus, vitamin plus, up to coat care, and odor control, and odor control is really good. Especially if you have male mouse, uh, uh, mice, as they can smell a bit. Um, and this actually only expires on the 29th of December this year. So it actually, yeah, there's for a long time in here. And I'm just going to turn it over again, so you can see the other side. I'm not sure if you can see it, but here it says that there's 15% protein. 6% percent uh, what's it called fat content four percent crude fibers five percent crude ash 0 0.6 percent um, calcium and 0 0.4 percent phosphor um, so yeah so I use this because personally I think the pellets are really good for mice because they cannot just you know select what they want and only eat the really fattening things in a mix and just throw the rest out. Here they get everything they need and it helps to trim their teeth as rodents teeth grow constantly during their whole life. Um, and this way I make sure they just get everything they need. I also give them some mixes as treats from time to time so I'm just gonna talk about that a bit later. But this is a really really good um, uh, like food you can use for them and I'm so happy with this. Um, so this is what the girls eat mostly. Pippin also gets it, but he does also get another food. Where do I have it? I just have the treat box here next to me. 
um, he also gets Rat Vital, which is bought at the look shop, the DK. There's a uh, more protein in here, so yeah, um, it's it's a really really good food as well. Uh, and my mice can have about around like 15-16% protein, uh, protein because um, they are show mice, so they are bigger. Um, and gene-wise, they can also you know, yeah, they can take a bit more than usual. So this is really good, and Pippin he absolutely loves this. So while I still have some, he gets it and. Yeah, when I'm done with it, he's just gonna uh, keep getting the Vasily Lega. So I'm using both, uh, both of them for both the girls and my little Pippin. So this is really, really good. Um, it smells funny, but it works. So yeah, that's the food I give them. And as you know, I do not have a food bowl because I just scatter it all around the floor uh, uh, under in the cage. Um, so they have to use some time to find their food um, and then I'm moving on to the treats and we are going to start with this one this is called real nature it's really really good I know it's in German but I do live in Denmark so <laughs> I did not buy this in Germany um, this is a really really good mix it's for hamsters as you can see you can also get it for dwarf hamsters rats degus and mice but I took this because I actually like the mix better than what there's in the, the mouse mix, so yeah, I just use this. Um, it's 100% natural, this is like 500 grams. Um, and it says it's habitat inspired muesli mix for hamsters with yellow millet, red millet, and proso millet. I don't know the proso millets, so but um, the mice absolutely love this, and I they get this like once a day once every two days um, and I just give like a, a little handful of it and scatter it around their, their cage just to keep things interesting for them because pellets even though they're really good they can also be a bit boring if they only get that so I make sure that they also get something else to eat and I'm just gonna look over here this is in German so I can't read that it's down here the English one and it's really really written very small it says Complete feed for hamsters, no added artificial preservatives, colorants or flavors. And there's oats in it and wheat and wheat flakes, um, sunflower seeds, uh, pea flakes, oats, um, mealworms, uh, all kinds of different things, processed animal protein, um, da -da -da, peas, calcium, yeah, there's a lot of different things in here. So it's it's really good. The mice absolutely love this. Um, I would not recommend this as you know your main kind of food for your hamsters or your mice, just because there is a lot of you know um, fattening things in here. For example, that white seed just there, very fattening. Um, yeah, there's also pumpkin seeds in it and stuff like that. So, but it's really really good otherwise. Um, and I. I just had the one for mice, but I've used it up. So, and this is a thing I always buy at Maxi Zoo where I work because, yeah, I just I always have it in stock. So this is, yeah, I really like this one. Next one we have plate and simple parakeet mix. Parakeet mixes are amazing. Um, they are quite fattening, so do not give it too often, especially you know, if, if there's sunflower seeds in, and there is sunflower seeds in this one um but the mice really really love this so i scatter this around the cage maybe once a week once every one and a half week um yeah so but they really like it um and it's i wouldn't say healthy because they can get fat if they only eat this but um but it's a good it's a good mix and yeah, again, it, it keeps them entertained while they have to search for the tiny, tiny seeds in here. Um, and, like, I got a uh, one kilo bag for almost nothing. So, yeah, I know that, yeah, parakeet mix is something you can find everywhere. You can also use a, use a budgie mix. That's also completely fine, and they will love you for it. So, this is a good mix, too. And then the other day, I went crazy, and I bought dried broccoli. Um, 
because the mice like you know fresh broccoli so I thought why not try this uh, except that they are not so thrilled about it they do eat it but it disappears kind of slowly um, but it says that it's like 100% natural rich on vitamin C's and you can give it like every day I do not give it every day because they do not need the extra vitamin C's um, like uh, for example uh, guinea pigs do um, but they do get it once, twice a week or something um, it smells really bad and I mean it stinks um, it's insane but as long as they like it that's fine I don't think I will buy this again because if they eat the fresh broccoli um, much more than this well I will just stick to the fresh broccoli but I thought it was worth a try so I don't know you can also try it for your hamsters maybe maybe they will like it more unfortunately this is a Danish brand I do not know if you can get it anywhere else but yeah it's worth a try but do be aware that it, it does smell yeah then I have some of these they actually came in a real nature package just like the hamster mix I have um, they are just made of I can't remember if this is this is the herbs I think just grass and herbs um, but you can also get it with dandelion and uh, some with mealworms and shrimps and some with fruit and some with vegetables and stuff like that and they're just you know it's just dried up into a little ball like this um, it's healthy it's really good for the teeth they like really like to to eat this um, so I give this once a month um, once a month because they are quite big um, and I only have three mice so <laughs> yeah but they, they like to, to eat this and I just keep it in their cage and they can just nibble on it whenever they want to and now we're moving on to the treats that are a bit more unhealthy if you could say that um, just gonna find them I have crackers from Vita Vitacraft um, I do know that they are not that healthy so it's not something they get in a cage they only get it when they're on the playground because I can supervise how much they eat and I can always take it away from them um, but this is with vegetables and beetroot and it's sugar free but it's not completely sugar free because there's actually honey in it um, the mice are not so thrilled about this because they do like the ones with the seeds and stuff um, a, like a bit more but I still thought yeah I'm just gonna give it to them um, and it says here yeah vegetables and beetroot and it's baked three times on natural wood wooden sticks um, and it says pet works for its treat yeah no kidding <laughs> um, the downside to this is that it doesn't actually say you, know, okay, you can see that it has carrots and peas and stuff on here um, but it doesn't really say what kind of vegetables there's in it. I'm just gonna find English one. Deer, uh, compound pet food for rabbits. Yeah, I just bought this for mice as well because they can have it as well. Uh, it's a cereals, vegetables, beetroot, and uh, minerals and honey. And that's it. So I don't really know what what's in it. So again, this is not something they get every single day and it's not something you should just leave in their cages especially not with mice because they do like to you know eat lots of different things um but it's 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 something i like to give them some from time to time just so they can be a bit entertained and have to work a bit for their food and again it's really good for um their teeth and the next thing and last thing is a super rare treat they do not get this every day at all this is the Vasily Lager complete crack with apple flavor um, this is something they get once a month once every one and a half month because it's not healthy <laughs> at all um, it says that it has vitamin C plus and omega-3 in it of course um, and it says here, I'm just going to find the English part. Why do they always have to write it in such a small... There. It says here, complimentary feed for small animals. Uh, Crock Complete Apple is tasty and healthy. Is a tasty and healthy snack for small animals. The crunchy shell satisfies their gnawing instinct. And the succulent apple filling has been enriched, enriched with uh, vitamin C's. 
or vitamins and omega-3. And when you just read it like this, it sounds quite healthy, right? But the downside is, again, I need to find the English part here. Where is it? Uh, no, that, that was, that was, fin no. Other side. Yes, over here. Uh, English. It actually says here that there is cereal, oils, and fats in it. And uh, fruit, apple of course, minerals, and milk. And as we all know, uh, milk is not the greatest thing to give to your pets, um, like yogurt drops. I never ever use yogurt drops because I think there's more than enough milk in this one. Um, mice are lactose intolerant, not as much as, um, for example, guinea, guinea pigs or rabbits. So mice can have it but it shouldn't be something you feed them every day or every week or every two weeks. And when I give this, because they are quite big, I do only give a half because you can see compared to my finger, it actually fills out the whole first, yeah, you know, part of my finger here. So I always divide it into a half, uh, maybe even into a quarter. Um, but they like this and that's why I have it because I, yeah. As long as it's not something they get every day, I think it's it's okay to give it to them. Just don't make a habit out of it, and don't just <laughs> yeah give them a whole one so so they can eat it like one each because that is way too much. But yeah, that was um that was a bit about what I feed my mice and what I have for them uh, as treats. Usually I have uh, much more like really a lot of treats, uh, but I've been controlling myself a bit. Because I only have three mice left, so they do not eat as much, and so I don't go through things as much as I used to. Um, but usually I have much more. But I thought, yeah, why not to show you guys um, what I give my mice? And I will soon be making a Viavet haul uh, because I am ordering from Viavet the 5th of July with my friend uh, because shipping is completely expensive, so we are sharing the shipping fee. So you can look forward to that. If you have any requests on videos uh, you want to see and you want me to make, um, just comment in the description below or comment on Instagram and I will figure something out. So that was it for this time. Bye bye!